Hey there, fellow knitters, and welcome to July's Horoscope for Knitters. I'm Katie Remby, designer of Light from Lantern Knitting Patterns and the host of the Knit a Spell podcast. We're currently on our summer hiatus, however, this is the perfect time to catch up on past episodes, of which there are many. I'll be sure to link the playlist in the description if you haven't checked it out already. This month, I'm featuring one of my favorite whimsical decks. It's the Northern Animal Tarot by Wilder Hearts Studio. Speaking of past episodes of Knit Spell, the interview I did with the designer of this deck is one of those past episodes. If you haven't seen it yet, it's really great. She breaks down her whole design process on this anthropomorphic deck, why she chose to feature animals instead of people, and all that good stuff. I hope you'll check it out if you're interested in learning more. I'm gonna try something new this month. In addition to pulling one tarot card for each sign of the zodiac, I'm also going to be pulling one color swatch to further layer what your intention could be for the month of July. And we'll see how the color relates to the tarot card. First, as always, we're gonna start by shuffling the cards. Oop, all right, with that flipped card, we have our first one for Aries, which is, oh, the Eight of Cups. You could be traveling a lot this month, Aries, with your knitting, or you might be changing your mind about something. Even this little critter is wearing this little shawl, so perhaps this is the month where if you have a shawl in progress, it's the time to wrap it up. Let's see what color we have to complement this message. All right, so it's like a sage green. In fact, this color is called sage. So what is the key here? The key is to go with the flow. Green sage is always very calming, it can be very cleansing, water also. There's an element of trusting your knitter's intuition this month. And if you're traveling, bring something easy, bring something that will be calming to knit instead of too complicated where you can't really concentrate. No frustration, just enjoy the process. Okay, Taurus, for you we have the Queen of Swords. If you know where you wanna put your time and energy this month, you're going to blow through projects. Things will be so clear. Patterns are just going to intuitively make sense and you're gonna make progress with ease. And as a complimentary color, we have, ooh, wheat. I feel like this is a very airy color. Wheat is always very bendy in the breeze. This could be another good sign that getting outside to do your crafting, getting around animals to do your crafting could be very good. So this month, Taurus, don't be afraid to indulge in knowing exactly what you want and growing from that. For you, Gemini, we have the Hermit. Okay, so this is one of my favorite cards that many of you may have known by this point. I just love him. Gemini, this may be a good month to do knitting when you just have time for yourself. Get in that recluse mode so that you can really concentrate and bask in the wisdom of the stitches. Really seeing how the process goes and having a new appreciation lighten your way. So let's see what color might complement the hermit. Oh, and we have this deep forest fern green. Maybe we're going deep into the woods or even if the woods are just like your metaphorical mind palace, you can go in there and Dream what projects we want to knit. What colors should they be? Maybe you're gonna knit something green. Maybe you're gonna knit something blue, like this fabulous cape that this little mole is wearing. So this month, reflect on what you really want. Don't be so influenced by other people. Make sure it's what you want, and I know you'll be really satisfied. Next up is Cancer. We have, oh, the devil. A lot of people consider the devil card as, you know, kind of a bad omen, however, I always think that kind of means like you should let loose a little bit. We don't always let that fun, frolicky, feisty feeling out. So maybe you're gonna knit something wild, Cancer. Maybe you're gonna knit a bikini. Maybe you're gonna knit a little tank top. You should do it. Stretch your comfort zone a little bit. No matter what the project might be, just consider that maybe something that's a little bit outside of what you would normally do could offer a very interesting awakening. In addition to that, oh, this charcoal color reminds us that we want to let loose a little, but remember to be balanced. <laughs> this is a very grounding color. Charcoal itself is a very filtering thing, so you want to have some fun, but find the balance. Meet yourself in the middle this month, Cancer. Leo, next we have you. 
we have the star. I just love this little otter. He's so cute. A little self-reflection this month could plant new seeds. Maybe this is a good month to take a look at all of the items in your works in progress. Which ones really have the seeds of hope that are gonna get finished? Maybe weed those out from the projects that you know aren't really interesting to you anymore. And just concentrate on the projects that really make you feel something. And those will be the ones that grow. And then you won't have everything in the background that's sort of low key making you feel a little guilty that you're not working on them because they won't be in the works anymore. You can just fully focus. And so let's see what color will complement your focus. Oh, okay, it's this little butter yellow. Sorry, lemon chiffon yellow. <laughs> I think this is nice. This is a good little compliment. This feels like the star. So you're going to want to look for symbols of the star, something that's lighting your way. And what is that ultimately? Your drive. So focusing on what you want versus what you don't want is a very good thing to do this month, Leo. All right, Virgo, for you we have the Six of Pentacles going to be an exchange of money at some point, whether that's purchasing new supplies or maybe it's someone gifting you supplies. This could also mean if you are a Virgo who is a person of commerce, maybe you're selling things, you could have a really good month of having lots of people interested in what you have for sale that has money coming into you. We are getting close to the reaping season of Virgo, so this is the time where you could start seeing that trickle in to then really come in and force perhaps in the next month. And if you're a Virgo who happens to have a lot of bills coming in this month, this is a good indicator that the scales will balance out. And let's see what color will complement this feeling. Oh, <laughs> it's saffron. This is basically gold. So I think maybe this will be more abundance coming in. So try to keep a positive money mindset this month and you could be receiving more than just literal money, but resources too. So be open to saying yes to resources that may come in a variety of ways. Pentacles are earthly materials, not just literal coins. Next up we have Libra. And for Libra, ooh, we have the 10 of swords. Libra, grace is the name of the game for you this month whether that is crafting projects that need to be put on hold until things are better, whether that's your state of mind or whatever's happening. Breathe. Sometimes things are crazy. We don't always have control over them, but other times we're letting things build up and we do have control over them. These are swords of the mind, of the intellect. We have the ability to remove these after we become aware of them, but sometimes it's a process and that's where the grace comes in. So if you find that you're knitting and they just don't seem to be working out, it can always be pulled out and redone again, and then you'll learn to do it even better. And then you'll help other people avoid this feeling in the future. And that's where this rising sun feeling comes up. Better is on the horizon. And let's see what color will complement this feeling. And it is this iris blossom purple. This is a very color of the mind as well. And isn't it such a beautiful match to this background? So I believe it is confirmation that better is on the way. So if you're having a tough month, breathe, grace, you got this. Next up we have Scorpio. And for you, we have, oh, the Ace of Swords. Someone is coming up with a brilliant new idea. Maybe you have an idea for a pattern. Are you going to become a designer this month, Scorpio? Or maybe you just have a unique color combination to put into a pattern that you had your eye on and now you're like, yep, I have the courage to cast it on this month. This is a good indication that having bold ideas will really pan out for you this month, Scorpio. And let's face it, you love bold ideas. And what could be more bold than this chartreuse color? So this is quite like the electric shock. This is a very air color, I think. Very lightning, very air. If you get that brilliant strike of an idea, go after it. It'll pan out. I want to hear what it is, so make sure to keep us posted in the comments. All right, next up we have Sagittarius. And for you, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune favors the Sagittarius this month. 
things are just going to work out with you, especially if you invite people who are also part of your interests. Say you have a knitting circle. Everything is just going to fall in line. Everyone's going to be in a really good mood or you will have the ability to keep them in the good mood. You're going to have a lucky month. Sagittarius. You just have to keep your eye on the prize and keep a good crew of friends around you. They're going to be really supportive to you. And what color will support you? Oh, it's a color of friendship. It's pink. July is going to be a month of growing new and further deepening old relationships. We know you'd love to be an adventure anyway, Sagittarius, so lean in. It's summer after all. Well, at least in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> Next up, we have Capricorn. And for you, we have all oh, the chariot. You are going to be traveling this month or you are going to be leading this month. Maybe you're going to be leading a travel excursion. Maybe you're going on a knitting retreat or maybe you're just doing a personal knitting retreat. It doesn't have to be organized any sort of way. You could make any weeknight or weekend into a fun gathering just by choosing to and inviting your friends. So don't be afraid to get social this month. And your complimentary color is going to be <laughs> white. That's funny, this is a snowy background, and white is a very void color. It's kind of up for anything, so you have the potential to dye this color, this yarn, any way that you choose. What kind of month are you going to have? Where are you going to drive your knitting this month, Capricorn? It's in your hands. Aquarius, for you, we have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so maybe July is a little bit tight on the budget. That's fine. Many of us knitters have stash on stash on stash that we can go into and remember those works in progress we might as well put our time back towards finishing them instead of letting them hang out be thrifty if you have a big project that you want to start maybe see if you can pull out other works in progress to use those resources to then reuse them into this new one make you feel good about using things you already have and your complementary color is uh, this blue so for a little bit more mindful, we can have that calm, serene feeling that we want in our knitting. And finally, for Pisces, oh, we have the Three of Coins. I love this card. It's a card of collaboration. So Pisces, get ready to have a team project on deck because once you put your mind to it, people will just magnetically start coming together to help you. You'll be surprised at the type of people who come out of the work work that seemingly have nothing to do with the project and then have a brilliant idea that will really take a whole new light on your original idea. So don't be afraid to collaborate with others on any type of project that you might have. This could be something as small as just casting on a new project and asking someone about color ideas. Speaking of, Maybe we have a color combination here that will inspire you. So what do we have? Ooh, well, this is quite the bold statement in Barry. Through collaboration, we are growing the fruit of our success. Get out there and work with people. All of your projects will be better for it, Pisces. That wraps up July's Horoscope for Knitters. I hope you liked this extra little twist that I did incorporating colors. I would love to hear your feedback. Maybe I'll do it more in the future. Additionally, if you are interested in learning more about color magic and the ability to quickly come up with color correspondences, go ahead and check out my Knit with Color Magic workshop. It's a pre-recorded workshop that you can do at your own pace where I break down tons of colors and guide you to find your own meetings and I share mine to inspire you as well. You can check out more about that and everything I've talked about in this video in the description below. Oh, did you see that little fairy that flew by? <laughs> I would love to hear how this reading ends up resonating with you this month. And if you'd like to support my work for free, you can do that just by subscribing. You'll also get notifications of all my new videos, including all of my monthly horoscope for knitters. Thank you so much for watching as always and happy birthday, Debbie. See you again next time. Merry make.